All month, we've been talking about parties, but today, let's imagine the greatest party ever. If you could have the best party in the whole world, what would it look like? Would you have cupcakes and cookies or pizza? Would you have a band playing music? Would you have horses to ride or maybe unicorns? Would you have superheroes come to the party? That would be the coolest party in the world. Wouldn't you love to be invited to that party? Well, let me tell you a secret. There's a special party that you are invited to. There aren't cookies or cake or superheroes, but I promise it's the best party ever, and you're invited. What is this party? Let's find out. When Jesus taught people about God, he told a lot of stories. One time, he told a story about a man who was throwing a big dinner party. The man invited tons and tons of people. He made a lot of food and got everything ready for the party. Then, he sent his servants out to tell the people he invited that it was time for the party to start. But when they got to their homes, every single person made an excuse about why they couldn't come to the party. One person said they had just bought a field and needed to go take care of it. Another person said that they needed to feed their animals. Everyone had excuses and said that they couldn't come to the party. The man throwing the party was sad, but he had an idea. He told his servants to go into the streets and invite everyone. He said, invite people who were poor, blind, hurt, and homeless too. He wanted them all at the party. When they showed up, they all got to enjoy the good food and celebration. So what do you think Jesus meant by the story? Jesus used stories to teach us important things. So let's look at the people in the story again. The man who threw the party is like Jesus. The first set of people who were invited to the party, the ones who didn't come, is all the people who haven't decided to follow Jesus. The second set of people, the ones who did come to the party, is everyone who has decided to follow Jesus. When we decide to follow Jesus, it's like we're accepting his invitation to the world's greatest party, life and eternal life with God. And do you know the best part? We're all invited to Jesus' party.